the organs of the endocrine system. We'll start up here uh, at, in the brain with the hypothalamus. So this is the hypothalamus right here, this sort of wedge-shaped spot. Uh, that's part of your brain. It does produce some hormones. Now the hypothalamus actually produces uh, the ones we're gonna be concerned with today anyway, uh, oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone. Oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone are stored in this gland right here. This gland is the pituitary gland uh, with an anterior portion and a posterior portion. So the anterior is called the adenohypophysis. Posterior is the neurohypophysis. And this is what's called the uh, hypothalamic hypophyseal tract. And this is how uh, the oxytocin antidiuretic hormone get into this neurohypophysis to be stored. So neurohypophysis stores oxytocin and antidiuretic hormone. Adenohypophysis actually makes hormones and the hormones you guys need to know are listed on page 82. So I'm not going to go into all that. Now <clears throat> we're going to move over here to the thyroid gland and so here's the larynx again. Uh, incidentally for those of you that say larynx you're saying it wrong but this is the larynx and trachea. So then what we have here is the thyroid gland and it's sort of a lobular, uh, lobular gland. Uh, it's got this little um, uh, isthmus in between there which holds the two different lobes and you may hear my cat in the background but that's cool. I'm doing this from home. Uh, the thyroid gland is going to have uh, two hormones that it produces as you can still see on 82. Now we'll go to the back of the thyroid gland here. So we're looking at the a sort of a, a posterior view and you see these little purplish dots. Well, those are representative of the parathyroid gland. So you can still see the thyroid here that, and, and it would have wrapped, it wraps around in front. So these parathyroid glands right here uh, on page 83, then we'll go, let's go here to the pancreas while we're, while we're at it. Now the pancreas is kind of out of, just out of context here, but this is the organ that you find kind of in the mesentery, just below your stomach and it provides, it produces a lot of what they call pancreatic juice. Now pancreatic juice is a digestive secretion and it's exocrine. So these guys produce exocrine and endocrine uh, uh, products. The exocrine stuff being pancreatic juice destined for the, um, the duodenum and that's where it's gonna go. Now the endocrine stuff that is produced in the pancreas is what we're concerned about in this chapter. And those are the two different uh, hormones, glucagon and insulin. So glucagon is made by what are called alpha cells. You can't really see them here. <clears throat> and insulin is made by beta cells. Glucagon, just FYI for now, uh, raises your blood sugar levels and insulin lowers blood sugar levels. So after you have a big meal, you're gonna produce a lot of insulin to get that uh, blood sugar stored away as a glycogen. Let's go over to this kidney. You might recognize it here. And on top of it is that adrenal gland. So this little, little uh, looks like a little cap, a little Smurf cap on top of the kidney is your adrenal gland. And it has, I'll go, I'll show you some details about it in a minute, but because this is just kind of a superficial view, but it's got a cortex and a medulla, the cortex being around the outside, the medulla being on the inside, and they produce their own suite of, <clears throat> of hormones. Now we'll go to the sex organs, which also count as sex uh, as, as um, endocrine glands. We have the testes, so this is the scrotum out here. Testes is this little egg-shaped thing right there, and the testes produce a couple of different hormones. Testosterone, which gives, uh, basically gives male sexual, uh, secondary sexual characteristics, and uh, a molecule, and a hormone called inhibin. Males and females both make inhibin, and it helps regulate your uh, your fertility, especially in uh, females. So let's go down here to the female reproductive system. This is the whole reproductive system here, um, but we'll concentrate on this little structure here. This is an ovary. So these, this little, again, egg-shaped thing is an ovary. A couple of components inside of this ovary, which you see listed in your uh, table on page 83, include follicles, which are these open sort of containers. So this this is a uh, ovarian follicle. And then that right there, that little black dot would represent an oocyte. When ovulation occurs, and I'm kind of stepping ahead of myself here into reproductive, but when ovulation occurs, 
that follicle collapses into a structure called a corpus luteum. And the corpus luteum is really the big producer of uh, progesterone and estrogen, uh, the follicle does it as well. So ovary, follicle, corpus luteum, produces estrogen and progesterone and inhibin, cut.